graduated in 1969. And we were the first graduating class for BSc degrees out of Calgary. So we were the first class at 50 years. I liked engineering, I liked what I did. It was exciting. I can look around town and I can look at buildings. I was part of that, I was part of this. And in the future, I just see it getting better and better. From when I graduated, you always got the letters to donate and I gave what I could. Well, this year, I'm getting a little older, so we, we worked on our wills. And I kind of knew that there was this legacy to the university and I went through, okay, now I'm gonna put that money towards something that, that makes sense to me. When a philanthropist thinks about donating to support engineering students, they really think of, you know, robots and the technical side. At the same time, they've been in industry for a while and they probably know that one of the most important elements of a, a strong engineer is their leadership skills, their communication skills. It's not what it used to be. It's not just a focus on technical, a focus on math. We need to think of the social side of engineering. And a lot of what I do is helping students really understand and reflect on what it is to be an engineer. And specifically, I'm looking at some of the biases that exist within engineering classrooms and how we can create a more inclusive environment. The more diverse our population of engineering students are, the more diverse the innovations are. When they're investing in the next generation, they're, they're in a way acknowledging that engineering is different and they're willing to invest in that and to say, I went to school 50 years ago and I learned in this way and I want to invest in what the future is. The future to me look, looks good. Something new is happening all the time and it just makes you proud. The next generation, is well, they are the future. I've been there and done that. So if I can contribute somehow with whatever gift I give, then I'll feel good.